The topic of this one is the cylinder. The cylinder is combined of two basic shapes, your rectangle and your circle. And it's very simple to construct cylinders. All you need to do is draw a rectangle and convert it to form. And you do that by taking a segment of the circle. And you can draw basically two different types of cylinders when it comes down to it. You can draw a one-sided cylinder or you can draw a two-sided cylinder. So right here you only see one side of the cylinder. Here we can draw a rectangle, close in the shape, and we can show a second side. And on the bottom, we echo that. The simplest way to know what curve to do is to use the same curve on the bottom and top. Okay, so we have one-sided, two-sided. Now there's lots of possibilities um, to how you can develop this. You can kind of make them more triangular. You can head them towards a cone or make it feel like they're going back and away in perspective, right? And the cool thing about cylinders is your ellipse doesn't necessarily have to be perfect to get it to be dimensional. Now there's some preferences that you might have or you might see um, and there's some technical things to get it perfect but there's some basics that you don't want to do. The first one you don't want to do is draw your rectangle and leave the top flat because that looks like a rectangle. Um, this situation I've seen people do when they're drawing cups and glasses and they're, and they're eye level with the top of the glass. So I would always recommend either looking up or looking down on the object so that you either create something like this or you do the one or two sided version of this. Now, the other way, so if you leave it like this, this is your no-no, right? Don't do that one. The other way to mess this up is to make pointy arcs. So if you go here and you come off with a point and end with a point, you're essentially saying that this shape is not actually a circle. If I tilt this up and I look straight down on this form, what I have is this kind of almond looking thing. So that's not what you want to do because when you look down on a cylinder, it's a circle. And that's pretty much it as far as constructing cylinders. They're very simple. From here, you can play with endless variations on them and they're one of the most useful forms that you'll, that you'll have but they're just troubled because they don't show that many sides. A lot of times you're gonna be using the one-sided and the only way to get any dimension out of it is by seeing this arc or putting detail across it. 